Why do we pray? If God is sovereign, why do we pray? This is a really good question. Now Luke chapter 11 verses 5 to 13 says, I tell you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. Plus Luke chapter 11 verses 9 to 10 says, For anyone or for everyone who asks receives. And the one who receives finds, and the one who knocks, it will be open. Now, when we take both of those verses together, we pray not only to thank God, but we are praying because prayer is God's appointed method. It's God's way. It's God's uh, procedure of blessing us and deepening our relationship with him. The basic point of Jesus' teaching in Luke chapter 11 is very clear. What Luke chapter 11 is all on about is this. His followers should not be afraid to ask the Father for his blessings, for he will not withhold good things from his children. Okay? Don't be afraid. Don't be fearful. He doesn't withhold. Now, when we look at Luke 11, verses 5 to 10, it says this. It says, If people become exasperated and give in to the request of a friend who refuses, <laughs> who refuses to give up asking for help, will not the Lord God Almighty who loves his people with an everlasting love. Surely what his people ask for when they persevere in prayer, even if sinners know that it's right to give gifts to their children and daughters, the Bible says this, this is very important. How much more, verses Luke 13 says, how much more? How much more, how much more will the perfect, righteous Father be willing to grant the greatest gift of all, namely the Holy Spirit, to his children? Okay, with those verses in mind, if we take those verses in isolation and just separate them without context, we might think Jesus' promise means that the Father will always, answer our prayers exactly as we desire. The end result will be, if we have desires that are not of the Father, they'll be unanswered. Yet we must consider all of the Scriptures teaching on prayer when we read any, any passage all by itself. We've got to be very careful here. We must look at what all the Scriptures are saying without isolating verses by themselves. 1 John 5.14, I've mentioned it before, says our prayers must be according to the will of the Father to move Him to answer the, the way we want Him to answer. We've got to be according to His will. So, when Jesus affirms in this particular passage, it's not that God will grant us everything that we desire. No, 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 no. What's happening in this passage is that God always gives good gifts, good things to, to ask when we ask. Always will, always has, and always is doing it. Good, of course, is determined by the Lord himself. Now, and we understand what is best for us. That's what God does for us. Now, when we think about that for a moment regarding prayer, we must not always get what we ask for, but everything we do receive leads to our final good and God's ultimate glory. The focus is our ultimate good, 
and the focus is God's ultimate glory according to Romans chapter 8 verse 28. So this is the context of prayer. And moreover, this particular passage of Luke indicates that we've got to ask in order to receive. If you choose not to ask, the Bible's very clear, you will not receive. So of course God could bless us without requiring us to ask him for his good gifts. He could, he could, he could do it without us asking. So why do we ask? Well, often God does give us gifts without us asking or realizing. So why should we ask? Think about it for a moment. The Bible is clear that sometimes we experience lack. We have not because we ask not. Because we have not chosen to bring our needs before the Heavenly Father in prayer, according to James chapter 4, verse 20. We have not because we don't ask. So why is God requiring us to ask? Why is God making these blessings dependent upon our prayers? Because the Lord reminds us of one thing. It's, he's reminding us that we are in a dependent relationship of asking him for everything. Prayer increases our relationship. And God has created a relationship wherein both parties truly interact with one another. And prayer is the means by which we interact with the Heavenly Father. Prayer increases and deepens that relationship. Prayer makes a big difference in our relationship. And God has ordained the method of prayer to develop and sanctify us, increase our spiritual walk with Him. And God gives His Holy Spirit only to those who ask it. Now, we're not talking about the Holy Spirit given in regeneration when we are born again. We are talking about when those fresh fillings of the Holy Spirit occur. The Bible says that we are to ask for those gifts of those fresh fillings each and every time. And when we confess that need, when we speak of that need, those subsequent feelings, when we need guidance from the Holy Spirit, He promises that He will give those good gifts to us because it lines up with His will. And sometimes we lack the will to fight sin. We're starting to fold. And because we've forgotten how dependent we are on the Spirit of God, therefore we need to ask. So as I conclude this section of the course, let us pray that he would fill us continually, that we might walk in obedience to his word. And I pray that God will continue to develop his walk with you and your walk with him through prayer, that it would grow stronger each and every day in the name of Jesus.